following contest is a tag team hell in a cell match. Introducing first from New York, weighing in at 228 pounds, the superstar. I can't watch this entrance. I heard this one backstage talking up their own work nonstop. Well, why don't they get in the ring and prove it, huh? Uh, that's what they're doing right now, Corey. Well, good. Let's see what they've got then. And here comes one of our favorites. Man. Weighing in at 228 pounds, Iron Man! The moment this match was announced, the WWE Universe has expected a classic. I think it is destined to deliver. A man who elevates his game every week. He is competing at his highest level yet. Oh, yeah, I am pumped for this guy. And from Cleveland, Ohio, weighing in at 195 pounds, Jake Paul. With the size of this superstar's ego, I have no idea how the rest of us can even fit in the venue. Hyperbole does not suit you, Saxton. We're looking at a high-caliber athlete right now. Ego is well-deserved. Corey, I'm inclined to agree with you on that. Ego or not, we're looking at a special talent. A man who always considers himself main event material, an uncrowned champion. He wants to show exactly why here tonight. All right, I love this guy. And from Pawtucket, Rhode Island, weighing in at 339 pounds, Peter Griffin. This competitor is one of the most dedicated and fair people I've ever met. They take their matches very seriously. Saxon, this isn't a place for seriousness. It's a place for all-out combat. They should try loosening their tie a little bit. He's been demanding this match for quite some time, and now he is ready to compete. The door is locked, and the only way to get out of Hell in a Cell is through your opponent. No rules, no regulations. Guys, this is the place where rivalries are settled forever. If it can't be decided here, it can't be decided, period. And a series of vicious stomps. You have to imagine the disdain it takes to repeatedly stomp someone like that. He's back into the ring. Suplex, oh. here it comes. 
Escapes and a chop block takes him down. Boom! DDT. Looking wobbly in the corner. Oh, oh. Yeah. That's going to hurt. Pushes off to create some room. Oh! Ooh. Byron, is it possible to devise a game plan as a competitor when you're embarking on a journey through hell? Competitors must resign themselves to the fact that doing battle in this torturous structure means their mind, body, and soul will never be the same again. He's getting a little better now. Laying waist to the back of the neck. Oh, wiped out with the crossbody. Oh, chin breaking uppercut. Oh, man. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Both wrists captured. And that was nasty. Boom, what a punch. with a punch. A big punch. Ouch. Oh, my God. Man. He's in the ropes. Uh oh Oh, God. Able to get the advantage here. Oh. And back in the ring we go. Shots to the body, heavy hands. Oh, what an intense striking combination. He thinks he has it. Shoulders up. It'll take a lot more than that to keep this man down. For good measure. He's going for the pen. This could be it. Kick out. How in the world did he kick out? He's positioning himself, closing in. Oh, there's the Irish curse backbreaker. Oh, kick! A much-needed big move. He's absorbing some tough hits now. And this is where Hell in a Cell earns its name, people. The damage is just piling up as we head into deep waters. Vicious right forearm. And now the most dangerous area inside the cell. Outside the ring now, he has no need to rush. Ooh, man! Ooh! Oh, God! Big overhand. Uncorks it, uppercut. And what a maneuver we just saw there. Oh, what a right! Man, that's some attitude behind it. He steps foot in the ring again. Dismantling the arm in the corner. Gotta hurt. Oh, catapulting down on the opponent. What's he open to find down there? And when he's got that chair, you know he wants to send a serious... Up into the torture rack. Oh, here's a cover. Could be it. And he stops the count for his partner. Arm ringer applied. Leg there. Here he goes for the win. Then he blows it out. And he kicks out of the pen and one. Kicking out now sends a very clear message. Okay, he's re-entering the ring. <laughs> Setting up for something here. Just a barrage of elbow drops into the chest. Unleashing a barrage on their opponent. He went right into that turnbuckle. Oh, ouch. Oh, impressive counter. 
Out of the ring and even closer to the chain link enclosure. Landing the uppercut. Outside of the ring now. What's the plan here? These consecutive attacks have been really... Yeah, this can't be how he pictured this fight going. He'll take things into the ring. Job. Oh, what a shot. Ooh, that hurt right to the kidney. Golly. Headbutt to the back of the neck. He's in a little bit of trouble now. Hell in a Cell is no joke, Michael. And they have done their best not to let this structure affect them too greatly. He's returning fire. The adrenaline is pumping, and the WWE Universe is on his side. Impact. As we all know, Hell in a Cell matches tend to deteriorate once the competitors leave the confines of the ring. Out of the ring, what's his plan here? Solid punch. Oh, an uppercut by the rock of tooth. Catches it up. And he's destroyed the wall. Through and through it like it was nothing. This is crazy. How did that even happen? An amazing display of raw strength. Making his way up the set wall. Apparently he loves chaos. This is where superstars become legends, Cole. Oh, stiff uppercut. And he's keeping the pressure on him. Nothing is going to stop him now. Carefully making his way back down to the ground. Quick return to the ring. Here he goes up the side of the structure. A long way out. This is rather reckless of him. What do you say? This whole match is reckless, but necessary. Simply too, and he chooses to let go of the hold. But just the amount of time he was in that submission could be very spare. This one is done. Looking for the victory. Two. He got it. A career-changing win inside Hell in a Cell. Here are your winners. An emphatic victory for your winners. An impressive effort from this duo. For my money, these two just might be the best tag team on the roster today.